How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be talking about search functionality with an app sheet. Now at the top of every deck and table view there should be a little search icon. If not you can go to UX brand and toggle this here which will show or hide your search button. Okay, so if this is off, you should see a search button here at the top right. And once you do, you can use that to search for things which within this view. So for instance, if I start to search for Quartermont, I can see that both of the Quartermont uh, guys show up here uh, with this search. You notice as well that it doesn't have to be the full word. Partial matches work as well. And I could search by all sorts of things. Um, I can even search by email and we see all of these guys have .com in their email so let's add another one really quickly so we'll say at crewtech.org all right and once we have this and I hit save if I search for .org, we see only one shows up. So I can search by just about anything in this. Uh, but you may be wondering, how did I set that up? So if I go to the employees table under columns, uh, I can click on one of my columns, go to other properties, and you can say whether or not you want this to be searchable. So we just showed that I could search by email. So I hit done and save. When this finishes saving and I go back to employees to search, we'll notice that it won't let me search for email. So if I hit type um, dot org, nothing shows up because it's not searching for email. It's trying to search for first name, last name, and role uh, by using dot org. And I said it couldn't do that. So since dot org doesn't show up in any of those searchable fields, uh, no results display. Now you can do this for every single one of your tables. For instance, when I come to intake, I can look at arrival date, other properties, and most things are going to default to searchable. That way you can search by just about anything. So you can only search for one thing at a time, but uh, you can search for through just about any of the columns, making the search uh, functionality deceptively robust. And that's really all you need to know for the basics of the search function. Thank you so much for watching. We hope uh, you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please throw them in the comments below. If you did find this helpful, please like this video. And if you're looking for more content, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.